My name is Malanel, and I am part of the Department of Practical Theology and Mission Studies at the University of Pretoria. I'm still deeply involved in postgraduate studies as a study leader for uh, a number of PhD students. Some three years ago, I've invited uh, nine practical theologians in South Africa, most of them in full-time academic life, to participate in a team research project with me on an issue, a challenge, a problem, a question that have kept me busy over many years. What is the relationship between preaching, worship, and developing faithful missional congregations? The 10 of us discerned some 43 congregations where we observed such development being happening. And we invited the 43 pastors to participate in a qualitative empirical research, fully structured interviews, transcribed the interviews, more than 500 pages of such interviews, analyzed it with the Atlas TI program done by a colleague who are well qualified to do so. And out of these, uh, this analysis came a, a number of core concepts that we learned from our colleagues whom we interviewed. We could not um, we could not select all the concepts, but nine of them were selected as kind of core concepts in the developing of faithful missional congregations. We divided the concepts among ourselves, and the ten chapters in the beautiful book, which I will share the title with in a moment, um, uh, that's how the book came about. The title of the book eventually is Mission Moves with a beautiful subtitle, Cultivating Gospel Communities. We are proud of the book. We are very, very excited about the academic uh, character of these chapters. Each one of the chapters um, has a bibliography where we found our information in the beautiful international world that we live in that helped us develop the chapter on this specific concept. Some of the concepts, for instance, uh, in my own case, was the, the, the importance of cultural intelligence in developing missional congregations. Another one was the importance of preaching series in developing faithful congregations. Another one was the issue of radical hospitality in missional congregations. I will not mention all nine of them, but all nine of them were developed with good literature research. My first chapter in the book was on framing our understanding of missionality. I explained the process of our research and especially how we as practical theologians understand missionality and uh, missional congregations. I think I can honestly say that the book is a scholarly book for scholars, and we hope that it will serve the purpose of further research, future research, hopefully will lead to many new masters and PhD theses that will take it further. Out of the chapters will, will come many other questions that students might want to pursue in a PhD. We, we are so proud that one of our reviewers, when the proposal was put to AOSIS, one of our reviewers wrote this beautiful sentence. It is my opinion that this book will become one of the primary resources for both students and academics in their mission to enculturate to re-enculturate missional congregations. This is our hope. It is a scholarly book for scholarly people. It will probably benefit pastors in local congregations. It will benefit pre-graduate and post-graduate students, but we hope that it will make a, a, a serious contribution to the bulk of knowledge on how do we develop missional congregations in whatever setting, in our case, 
the beautiful context and the challenging context of South Africa. May our international uh, fellow academics and our South African fellow academics benefit from this book under the beautiful title, Mission Moves, Cultivating Gospel Communities. Thank you.